bothers me a lot. Uh, it's, I mean, it's horrible, in my opinion. Only on Fox tonight, some local parents are fired up about a plan to move a swingers club close to their children's school. Easy to understand, the social club has applied for a zoning change that would allow its members to use an old office building right across the street from Good Pasture Christian School in Madison. Fox 17 Sky Arnold is live from the site right now with the story. Sky? Well, guys, uh, the building behind me it used to be a doctor's office, but last November, the owners of the social club bought it, hoping to move their club here, their swingers club here. Now, the problem, according to some, is right over there across the street, right behind us, is another building where children go to school and some of them even go to daycare. The front page of the social club's website tells you everything you need to know about what's been happening behind these Division Street doors. The business claims to be run by swingers for swingers. But last October, owners sold the building and bought this one up in Madison, right by the Good Pasture Christian School. John Collier's son attends. From a business standpoint, you can operate those kind of things anywhere. As you might imagine, Collier and other parents we spoke with don't like the idea of this kind of business moving in. To have something like that so close to children, where they go to school to be educated, to be formed, it makes very little sense to me uh, from a moral standpoint, from a parenting standpoint anyway. Now I know what you're thinking. Shouldn't something like this be prohibited by codes? Well, it would be if swingers clubs were considered adult entertainment. Code zoning administrator Bill Herbert tells me they aren't if the only activity inside is consensual sex between adult members of the club and not sexual performance like stripping. In this case, um, there's no indication that, uh, that, that that is going to take place. So based upon what your question is, is that um, there's no live performance. It's between consenting adults. Herbert says the owners are applying for a zoning change, allowing the same club designation their old building had. Assuming the building meets fire codes, there may be very little standing in the way, regardless of how opposed parents like Collier might be. Club is a, one of the uses that is allowed by the zoning code. It is permitted as a matter of right within that office district. Now, we were unable to reach the owners of the social club either by email or by phone today. We should mention that club designation we just talked about. It requires everyone inside to be an actual member of the club. It does not allow them to serve alcohol, on the other hand, but the club, as it's always been, is, has been BYOB anyway. We're live in Madison, Skyhorn, Fox 17 News.